All right, here are 30 cans of Dr. Pepper, 20 bags of Happy Wedges, 11 bags of Bigfoot Gummy, and a bottle of insect repellent for plants. Oh, good timing. There may be a bit of ash on them, but the flavor and texture should still be fine. Oh. <coughs> the ash is killing me! That's way more than a bit! I can't just carry them with me in broad daylight. Do you know how many procedures I've gone through just to pay you a visit? But how come you're locked in the same room? Since when has the Foundation become so benevolent? They would like Captain to guide me to the right path, to join the Foundation. After all, Captain was already a member of them. Yep, but I don't feel any difference in the benefits I get. At best, I could contact someone from the outside. And you're here. So, Texas Hold'em? That's not what I'm here for. I've shown you the storm records these years. So, did you find anything? Hmm. You call it a record, but it's so brief that it only has start time and duration. I can't tell any pattern from that. Hmm. This apple believes that the storm which happens randomly does not conform to the self-adjusting nature of the universe. Self-adjusting? Hmm... Oh! Is that the theory you mentioned before? Something like, there should be someone who intervenes or improves the system in order to reduce the growth of the instability of the universe? For example, if the universe is a mooring rope, no, a bunch of ropes, there has to be a sailor who pulls the ropes to keep them in order, or something. Sounds like the cosmology from centuries ago. But your metaphor reminds me of Madame Z's research on string theory. She advocates that the energy string is the most basic unit of the universe. Are you talking about Vertin's boss? Boss? Well, if that's your definition of immediate supervisor, then yes. Madame Z was a scientist who studied in Britain before she joined the Foundation. Bread and honey are the staff of life. That makes sense. Well, it's not a good choice for most scientists. Recently, she has been promoted from the chief of the vice president's staff to a formal member of the committee. I guess she will spend even less time in the lab. Ugh. The whole building shakes. Did something hit it? Let me see. Druvis and Sotheby. What's this? Guys, I am not going to be dragged into a ride at this point. <gasps> is that Druvis? What happened to her? Her new hairstyle is sort of cool. Captain, it's not the point. 
Agreed. Not the point at all. I gotta go. If you want me to take part in such an event, my name should never be in the visitor log. Looks like the whole building will be your battlefield. All right. Good luck. Wait a minute. If we joined Druvis, what would happen? <laughs> what would happen? I'm not a prophet. But this is going to be the best spot for protest. This building is the furthest one from the center of the foundation. On the first and second floors are material rooms and research offices. Few staff stay here. The room next to yours is the projection lab. It was used to control the slides projected in the lobby. That screen is gone now, but the transfer devices and circuits are still there. You know what? If you're going to protest, make it loud. It's been a long time since the Foundation had something this much fun. having a fight with the Foundation. Yes. We have a disagreement with the Foundation, Miss Sotheby. Burton is seeking a limited freedom for us. Her aspiration is to restore the peaceful life before the storm. For the authorities, however, her aspiration and ambition are labeled as deviation and rebellion. We are thus tempted alienated, and arrested unjustly. That's why we've been grounded all these days. So we're helping Burton now. Is that right, Miss Jubis? I really feel like doing something for her. Just like what I'm doing right now, standing brave on the tree. Right, on the tree. We need to move forward to move one step further. When we meet up with Regulus and Apple, our voices will be stronger, and more and more people will offer their help. I believe that when the day comes, we will be able to shake up the balance in the Foundation and tilt it to our side. Shake up the balance, wow. Maybe Vashon will come back herself by then. Got it. Now my goal is to make more potions so the trees can grow larger and larger. Make them super large. This is going to be a protracted war of resistance. After we rescue Regulus, please maintain our territory of the woods with the rest of your potions, Miss Sotheby. Sure, I will economize on them. Look! is coming out of the room. He left. It seems he has made his choice. Not helping us or them. Well, at least no one is getting hurt from the boiling pot this time. Let me see. Hmm, there are more guards at the door now. It seems everyone's there. Perhaps they have guessed our next move. Regulus. Let's go. It's time to meet up with our companions. Go, go! Regulus must be bored to death just as I was. <laughs>